What a messed up episode with Nuggets' backstory. Mom is an absolute demon. There's a lot of issues on why she is so, you know, terrible. Can't really completely blame her because her parents are the reason why she's probably like that too. And then it's just this repeating cycle of shitty parents abusing their kids and then over and over. But I think the cycle stopped here with Nagisa. Mom is an L character, but kind of got to see, you know, two terms by the end thanks to Koro-sensei and the random Indiana Jones assassin dude, which is pretty funny. That Koro-sensei shows up every Wednesday night at 10 p.m. to watch, you know, a drama and the assassin was ready for it. But hey, everything is handled. I think we're going to start a new arc. Let's begin today's reaction. Oh, no. Oh no, not this demon. No, here's another demon, bro. This mascot is so scary and sassy and weird, but funny. Yeah. Long time no see. Fall. Festivals. <laughs> Return on investment ratio. Dollar cost average. I don't know what, what, what y equals mx plus b squared. I don't know. They just the kids just saying random shit as if it's like the most obvious thing at the school is the funniest part. Like, how do they know these terms? It's elite. Wow. Okay. Job hunting shit. <laughs> Employment ice age. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Woo! Job fairs like this, I think, is actually so important. Uh, the likelihood of you landing a job at this job, I don't, like, what is the purpose of a job fair? To go out there, it's really awkward, right? You're, everyone's just standing around, you know, looking all weird with their dress shirts, and everyone's like, you know, please check out my resume here and there. But I think your goal should be, like, try to really converse with the recruiter and try to get their contacts so that you can really push for it in the future. Like, there's not a chance that you can just go around giving your resumes to you. Like, hey, here it is, and I hope you hire me. That's not going to happen. But, like, you got to show, like, eagerness. And that sucks, right? Feels like, I don't know, you're like a fucking animal. And dang they're dangling like a carrot in front of you to see, like, who can jump the highest to see, you know, who can get the job. It feels very, like, dehumanizing. But your goal should be, like, to get to know, the con like, the recruiter and, you know, like, try to, like, convince them and then try to get their contacts so that you can, like, follow up. And then, hopefully, then you can get to the actual, like, interview process. Mm. Hey, the frog five. Asano does. He's different. No, I think, uh... Well, they have, like, sponsors and shit, whatever. I don't completely understand the significance of this, but basically, like, you know, he's already working with big corporate behind the scenes. But we have some contacts in the professional industries too. Professional assassins. <laughs> Will they show up? I don't know. Muramatsu Takuya. I have no clue who that kid is. Maid Cafe. Ah, that's what that was. Okay. What can we do though? Have professional assassins show up but not do assassin shit, but some other stuff? I don't know. What, what kind of contact do we have? Hmm? Foraging? I say just whore out Nagisa, making cross dress and go and put up a maid cafe. I bet that would do numbers. <laughs> okay. Oh, real acorns. <laughs> Yo, these guys are looking like the dudes that jumped us back in season one. Remember the high school kids? Holy shit, they look like a JoJo character build. Senpais. Okay. <laughs> the guy over here, bro. This dude on the far left side is crazy. The teeth. What? Yo, what happened to their teeth? This guy kind of looks like Asano or Karma if they went down like the bad route. I suppose. <laughs> Alright, they climbed all the way to the top. They actually showed up. They really wanted the acorn noodles, huh? <laughs> oh, they're real. They're really the same people. They're actually the same motherfuckers, dude. 
何しに来たんだよあれれまた女子でもなちるつもってねえなんだ、ヘルチョーたまねえ。ちょよ、でしびチュラマタイズバイナー。なくてもずいと叫びまくったり。Let's see! ととネットでつぶやいたりな I bet they're gonna glaze. They're gonna taste the eight corn noodles and be like, oh my god, this is so pee. <laughs> they're stupid to show it? Nah, listen, they're stupid to show it a long time ago before they were even fucking talking. Just look at their face. It looks really good. <gasps> Bro's crying. <laughs> I wanted some sort of like food wars, like you know, reaction, or like the, they eat once and suddenly it's like a domain expansion. They're having like a fucking flashback. Like, isn't there that one movie? I'm not sure if it's Ratatouille, but there's like a really harsh like critic that shows up and he's like, <laughs> "I'll taste some," and then boom, he's back in like you know when he's a kid and like mom's like cooking for him and he starts fucking crying, like <laughs> that kind of reaction. <laughs> Ooh, is this Muramatsa? Oh, Roman guy. Man, he basically just did 95% of the work then. Like, he came up with the menu. That's crazy. He's just putting in so much work, and everyone else is just kind of like, you know, serving. Wow. <laughs> Even, that's a compliment for Ritona. <laughs> why, why did they move like this? Why did they talk like this? There's something really wrong with these two, bro. <laughs> oh, Beach Sensei. Ooh. The new Beach Sensei with the hairstyle change. Oh, 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 stop. Oh my god. She's moving that thing around. TM. <laughs> it took them so long to get here. This sense they can just do ASMR ATM. She went, they're all just gonna come back after that too. Alright. She's hustling them. What the fuck, Koro Sensei? That's a cool design. Hokajima, instead of taking, you know, panty pictures, he's actually taking pictures of food. Wow, ah, made a whole ass website. Cool. Yeah. I mean, they got a restaurant sponsor. It's so unfair. They got whole ass like what? What is this? They got idols showing up, man. What the hell? Wow. Like idol friends and comedian buddies for free. It's a smart business strategy. I mean, the fact that they have to walk all the way up to the mountains for E Class Cafe, like, this already is such a disadvantage for the location alone. Like, the location alone, I think, should just win you, right? And then on top of that, he has so much, like, insider connections to have these concerts and shit. It's so unfair. Yo, he's gonna play? Is he actually gonna play? Shit. I wanted the principal to show up. I want the principal to have, like, a father-son, like, concert. Whoa. So cool. Be E-class. Hmm? No more else. Are you? Yeah, can you play? They're gonna ruin it with the backup. Yo, is, is, is the fraud for actually going to just carry and like help us? Help E class and ruin everything for Asano? Off screen. Oh, the kids! Hey, the gramps! Hmm. Pre ordering. It's alright. How is it? 
いいもの作っても大勢の人に伝えるのが難しくってでも心配いらないよ持ってるじゃんいやコロ先生日頃の行いが正しければ If you've been nice to others, well, the best form of advertisement is actually no advertisement. It's called word of mouth. You give someone such a good experience that they're going to want to vouch your product, your service to other people, and that'll spread and propagate more and more. You don't even have to buy a, a bulletin board, whatnot. Those bulletin boards, commercials, it's so ineffective. Like, So many random people will see the signs, but they have no connection to that. Who gives a fuck when a random, you know, sign is saying, you should do this. But if someone close to you, a friend, family member, someone you respect, tells you like, yo, you should check this out. It's actually good. You're going to take that way more seriously because there's a personal connection, right? That's why like word of mouth advertisement is the best. Bye-bye. Nagisa-san. <laughs> Oh, they know. Oh no, they all know. Season one, final arc. Wait, do we have to change? No, we should not change. We should just stay in boy mode. Oh my god, he's actually here though. Dude, this kid though. I, 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 I don't think he's a bad person, honestly. I think that he's a very, like, sad character of, like, rich parents and he has no friends, no nothing. He's, he's just misguided. But, like, he could have connections, man. He has the money, the resources. Like, you never know if he could be clutch for us. <laughs> Yo. Yeah. Yo. He's just staying in boy mode. I, I guess he's talking a little bit higher pitch? That's a bit girly. Yeah. Also, it looks like what's she doing down there? She eating Nagisa's ass out. Um, that's like a bit creepy. How did you find us? I went through all the fucking guests of the place that we went to, then I then tracked you down and found your website. Hello. That's, that's kind of creepy, bro. Oh, she's changing him. She's changing him. <laughs> she literally just took his pants off and put a skirt on him. That's crazy. He is rich. Got a whore Nagisa out. <laughs> you know, I kind of wish that like um, Karasuma would be whored out too. Like have like Karasuma just like shirt off. And advertise in the main campus or something and have all like the mamas, the aunties, like all the girls be like, oh my god, six pack, and they all fucking go up the mountain too. Yeah, for sure. Or don't get your hopes up, brother. Don't. I want you to try all my favorite, all my favorites, read it. Just basically get it to buy every fucking menu item. <laughs> yeah, read it. Oh, my favorites. <laughs> Too easy. Too easy. Nakamura is actually a pimp right now. She's pimping Nagisa out. Oh my god. Oh. <laughs> so confirmed. It really was just weed, bro. Oh my god, the devil's lettuce, bro. Those sketchy herbs. Stay away, bro. The Zaza is bad for you kids. For sure, bro. Great presentation. I do feel bad for fooling Yuji. This is pretty mean. <laughs> for a date. Bro, it's not gonna stop at a date, bro. More doujins are gonna be made with this content. Also, did I just hear Karasuma's voice? Who is this? 100k for a blowjob. Oh, hey! What the hell? Who are you? Random friends. They're hunting here. Yeah, that guy is the um red guy. Red eye, right? Because the moment he kills, they're already dead. It's red. And, you know, Koro sensei gave him a whole ass, like, uh, intervention. Ah, hunting club. He's half. Big anime fan. <laughs> He's an otaku. He's just a weeb. He's naturalized. 
<laughs> you got a white guy over here with a fucking gun. Yeah, he's, he's a weeb. I don't know what to tell you, man. Sure. <laughs> I did make the guess that Lovro was actually not dead. But that guess was based on the logic that the Reaper was also just faking it. And this is just a huge lesson for the kids. And everyone would just laugh it off. I thought that, that there was like a misdirection going there. But how the fuck is he alive right now? Because clearly the Reaper wasn't fucking around. Hey. <laughs> Yo, he... Lovro, I think, is looking at Nagisa's skirt. Nagisa is, like, the highest potential to be a professional assassin. Lovro gave him, like, like professional, like, one-on-one, -on -one, like, you know, the, 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 the teachings, tutoring. And now he's like, my boy, you really are just taking after bitch sensei, aren't you? You straight up just fucking seducing the man, this boy right now. Not bad. Lovro, How are you alive? How are you alive? Yeah, you skipped bitch sensei's birthday. I thought you were dead. Sure. What kind of people do we have here? What the hell? Yo, is this a bunch gonna be a bunch of fucking professional assassins and hitmen and professional underground people? The gun guy. Mr. Gas guy. I wonder if Takauka would show up. The, uh, the shitty teacher that's always saying, I'm Papa. I don't know. It would be weird because of all the shit he's done. I feel like that's like beyond redemption. Like, these dudes are different. Hey, there's the wasabi again. Yeah. Yeah, this is the underground. Yeah, the fake smile. It took you this long. But you don't even know that this is a boy that you're talking to. You don't figure shit out, bro. How you, you think you know right now? Like, brother, you're like 10 steps behind. The girl. Wait. Wait. Yeah. Everything's a lie. I think that Yuji doesn't know this, and Nagisa is basically revealing something that he doesn't know, and this is gonna lead to comedic shock. Uh, uh, yeah, he didn't know. He don't know. He don't know. Yeah, he's like embracing it now. That's not what Yuji was talking about, though. I don't think. It's a boy. <laughs> It's Nakamura. <laughs> Nakamura's like, you show him your tree trunks. <laughs> the elephant. Whip it around. Yeah. Yeah.けっぷら返せば武器にできる。この教室で学んできる。この店もその no. Here's some growth. Here's some growth from Yuji. Alright. I feel bad. Like, I actually feel bad that Yuji just got, like, lied to the entire time. Like, again, like, he is a Nepo kid. Rich kid. But, like, he's not evil. He's just in a shitty position where no one will ever, like, be real to him. They're all just using him. And now he got all the fucking money taken away. Like, like it's not all the money, but imagine, like, being catfished and being pimped, like, and then, like, taking, getting all your money baited out, and now it's like a fucking line, it's a man at the end of the day, like, uh, I don't know, but yeah, that, that, that waistline is crazy. This, 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 <laughs> this is crazy. Nagasa has a better fucking hourglass shape than all the girls in the class. Oh no, Karma showed up with a bunch of cosplay, bro. He was ready for the fucking, you know, uh, 100 subs, guys, and made outfit coming on. Yep, there it is. A lot of money. Yeah, I feel bad for Yuji, man. Wait!
We didn't get to see the Fraud 4. I wanted to see the Fraud 4 go on the stage and start doing a concert with Asano and just ruin it for everybody. What? He's the most influential food blogger on the net? What the fuck is the coincidence of that? What the hell? Yeah, we're just getting bailed out out of nowhere. There's no way that I could have fucking predicted this, but like, I'm down. It's looking like Yuji didn't really take it. You know, I don't know. I, maybe he would have felt like hatred and he felt lied to and fuck him, but he kind of clutched for us, man. <laughs> Bailed out by Yuji, man. <laughs> Wait, what does it say? A rich kid trying everything from cheap dining halls to hot cuisine. Curious about a place? All fried right over. Now taking requests. I like that. That's a great brand. Like, it's kind of like funny or kind of like, uh, I don't know, cocky, pompous to say, I'm a rich kid that I can just do whatever you want. But like, you can request anything and he'll fucking do it. Like, that's a great, like, concept of a channel he's a real deal <laughs> okay he's a real deal bro glaze that's a, that's a <laughs> he's even more sus with all these straggly you know hair pube like things growing out of the fucking this thing anyway Yo, Terasaka, they're, they're, they, look at them, they're putting the muscles to work. They're making sure all the clients at the bottom can, you know, get up to the mountain with this bicycle service. Everyone's helping out. Hey, after a line. Friend! Damn, he's pouring his heart out on the summary. Look at that. What a great Nepo kid. Just because you you're a spoiled kid doesn't mean you're evil. It's all about like your perspectives and how you're going to use that advantage, right? This is great. Hype. Better go. Oh, this soundtrack is so great. Okay, never mind. I, I was going to make fun of this kid. Or looking the same, but anyways, keep going. Baseball guy. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. It's the fucking NPC. It's the power creep NPCs. They got power creep by the front four. They're enjoying our noodles too. This is the shonen jump. Wait, 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 wait. This is Kuroko no basket. This is Jojo, 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 Jojo. This is the Forcoma Esper guy. Psyche K. Who's this on the far left, far right? What's what's this girl? I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, it's bo 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 bo. What is this girl on the? I don't know the right one, but I do know these three. This is a shonen jump fucking reference, bro. Switch girl? Don't know. Asano. Come try it out, bro. It's good. Oro san say, go outside and forage. Yeah, they've been grinding. What a snake horn. <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> Dude, that's crazy, actually. If three days, two days worth of foraging, that's how much grinding we did, that you would destroy the ecosystem? That's insane. Everybody's lesson. Alright, we got a better thing than a win. It's the lesson. Is this the assassin guy? The one that I confused. Because like, I, I was like, yo, is Nagis' mom the assassin guy that we saw that inspired Reaper? I think this guy might be. His hair color matches. His hair length matches. No, it's just... You... Fuck you! I got baited again! <laughs> He's a stupid ass. It's a mom again, bro. Ayah.
one of these days. And what if the Reaper's inspiration never shows up? Because like I'm like coalition, you know, they're not they're gonna be bringing all sorts of assassins in. Surely it's gonna show. Up. I'm, I'm like every time I'm like. No, it's not. It's fucking Isagi's mom. Sorry, not Isagi. Nagisa's mom. <笑>最後の山ぶどうジュース美味しいよ。ありがとう。すごいのね。あんたの暮らす残り下がる理由もわかるわ。この前のこの講師での。いや、what <笑> そこから先は好きに生きればいいから。せっかくあんたの親になれたしは。ああ、ああ、ああ。ひとつのクレイジービッチだ。人を育てる教師になる。What <笑> Right? When she said, go save E-Class, what was the most recent uh, logic theory that we built upon? It's, it was about how did she know even about E-Class? And if knowing like prominent characters, who could be responsible for that? The principal's wife, right? Someone directly involved with the principal, a character that we haven't even seen yet. Maybe it could be. あなたが私にくれた縁をつなげているでしょうか? Who is it? Say the name.
Yuji coming back, you know, the orphanage daycare kids, the fucking, you know, uh, Lovro and everything. And Yuji, at the end of the day, used his advantages and privileges for, I guess, good. Whatever good means. Good for us that he is like a super popular food blogger. So that's, I, I think that's great. And Nagisa, you know, had a little bit more of a closure with this mom. Mom was pretty chill at the end of last episode. But with this one, I think that this is pretty much just like, okay, we're good now. Now... Principal, <laughs> he don't like this shit. I think next episode he might do something crazy, but that's it for me. If you're still here, if you enjoyed this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlist for even more content. And until next time, take care.